Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Conversational English. Today we continue and finish our Unit Three with Lesson Nine. I'm beat. 好的，那么今天呢，我们来进入的这个课程的主题，刚刚布鲁斯老师演出来的就是啊。我真是累坏了。好，那到底是怎么样的一个状况呢？我们赶快来看看的话，今天的课程大家就会了解了。That's right. Now, I'm beat means that we're unusually tired, and if you remember last week, poor Ed has to move big pieces of furniture around the living room, and now he's still feeling tired. And、uh, with his wife and daughter, they're going to discuss the continuing. Saga of taking care of their home that they're just moving into and settling down into. 好，所以我们今天的课程呢，当然这个前一课大家已经看到可怜的这个 Ed 呢，这个自己要搬了一堆的大型家具，而且搬过来搬过去的。那么今天我们要来看到的就是呢，他们一家人又可以坐下来在睡觉前讨论说今天做了些什么，还有明天接着还要做什么。所以这些痛苦的事情，刚刚 Bruce 老师提到了一个字，好，同学们应该可以学的，叫做 Saga。这是什么意思、mm. ？Okay,、uh, first let's spell it for you. S A G A. 很简单 ，S A G A. A saga is usually a very long but always dramatic story, and、uh, we try to make the lessons more interesting for you. If they're doing a lot of things, if they're difficult or complicated, they have problems that they have to solve. All of this is like a soap opera. It's a saga. OK， 所以什么叫 saga 呢？原来刚刚布鲁斯老师解释的就是一个很长而且很戏剧性，然后不断的变化的一个故事，就是一个 saga。所以刚刚讲到说呢，我们想把这个呃绘画也是拍得很像一个 saga 的原因，那就是让大家会觉得很有趣。那用台湾大家比较熟悉的例子来比喻，就是刚刚讲的 soap opera。我们其实在这个呃中文可以叫做这个肥皂剧，或者其实大家会更熟悉叫做连续剧哦、呃。尤其像我们后来这个呃有一些像台湾龙卷风等等这种的。就是很明显的又长，可是它很多变化，不断的有戏剧性的产生的这种，就是一个 saga. Right. Okay. Well, let's see how the Hudsons deal with relaxing for a change, and more importantly, scheduling the next day's activities. Hmm.、嗯、oh, I'm beat. Poor Daddy, we really put you through the ringer today. Uh huh. You'd better get a good night's sleep because tomorrow we have a lot more to do. I can hardly wait. But at least we got our bedrooms mostly done, so we can sleep in our own beds tonight. And our bathrooms are pretty well settled. I guess tomorrow we only have the little stuff to to take care of. Yeah, but. There is an awful lot of little stuff to do. It will take us a few days to empty all the contents of all these boxes and put them away. At least we could cook in our kitchen. We?、Oui? <laughs> well, you know. Anyway, I'll help you clean up after breakfast. I'll help too, Mom. I'll give you a hand with the laundry too. Thanks, honey. I appreciate that. And I'll do the floors. There's vacuuming, sweeping, and mopping to do. That would be great. Becky can give me a hand cleaning the bathrooms, okay? Sure, Mom. I cleared my schedule for the whole week. Sounds like a plan. Ah,、uh, if you don't mind, I'll use the bathroom and get ready for bed. I'll join you in half an hour, Ed. Good night, Daddy. Good night, Becky. Hmm. Hmm. So. It's really good to have you home with us, sweetie. We've been so busy. I haven't had any time to just talk with you. How's school going? Pretty good, Mom. I'm keeping up with all my schoolwork. I've already read all next week's assignments, and Janet will fill me in on what happens in our classes. I could also borrow her notes too. Hmm. Janet sounds like a really good friend. Oh, she is. She's already like my sister. And how's your social life otherwise? I joined the dance and public speaking clubs.、Mm-hmm. University life can be pretty interesting. It can be. 
Oh, look at the time. We'd better turn in too. I'm right behind you. Okay. Okay, let's uh, take a break before we do part three: words and phrases. 好，那我们就休息一下，马上回来。Ready now for part three. This is words and phrases to help you better understand the dialogue. Whether you're listening or reading, we have usually about twenty words or phrases or so each week. We speak them out. We give you a sample sentence, and if you pay attention, you'll be able to learn the meanings of these words and just as important, how to use them. So please join us and listen carefully. 好，我们现在就来进入第三单元的智慧与片语。Beat, beat. 精疲力尽。We all felt beat after playing three hours of basketball in the sun. 在太阳下连打三个小时的篮球，让我们都累坏了。Put through the ringer. Put through the ringer. 折腾某人。At boot camp, the drill sergeants put the recruits through the ringer to get them ready for military life. 在成功岭上，班长把新兵们折腾了一番。为的是让他们能够适应军中的生活。啊哈，啊哈，啊哈。Does seven o'clock for dinner work for you? Uh huh. That's perfect. 七点吃晚餐好吗？啊哈，很好啊。Okay, of course. This is what we call an interjection. You don't really have to learn that word. It's sounds that we make when we communicate. Uh uh, uh huh, hmm, oh, and so on. Hmm. These are sounds, but they have meaning. We don't usually find them in a textbook, and sometimes not even in a dictionary. But they're really important to learn because we communicate meanings with these sounds. 嗯，好，这里呢 ，Bruce 老师补充的就是我们这些感叹词，也就是刚刚他出了很多嗯嗯啊的声音哦。<笑>但是呢，虽然他们是声音，但它都有它传达的意义。那么，所以呢，有的时候可能同学们在字典上都还不一定查得到，可是这些字它确实存在于我们在沟通时候英文里面的这个部分。所以呢 ，Bruce 老师说，大家学习怎么用，那就会更能够去表达很多你用声音来传达的那个意思了。嗯。Okay, our next item is another interjection. Well, well. Hmm.、Um, How about a horror movie DVD at home tonight? Hmm.、Um, well, I was actually hoping for a romantic movie. 我们今天晚上待在家里看 DVD 这个恐怖片如何？嗯、um, ，可是其实我比较想要看的是浪漫电影哎。Now here's an interjection. W e l l can also be fu zi.、Uh, she did her work well. It's the same word or the same、uh, spelling, but the meaning is completely different. This well, as we use it as an interjection, can mean either let me think about that, or you want to say something. Different from, or even against, what somebody else just said, but it's a polite way to do it. 嗯，所以呢，这边呃 ，Bruce 老师补充的说 ，well 呢，这个字如果当副词用啊，比如说他把这个事情做得很好，这个做呢是用这个 do， 那么 well 它就是来修饰 do 这个动词做得很好的那个副词咯。啊。但是呢，在这里的感叹词呢，它的用法这个声音呢，通常是表达两种意思。第一个呢，就是表示说，嗯，这个。我还要想一下，让我再想一下，这是第一种。那第二种呢？通常是表示啊、呃，这个呃，你可能准备要反对啊、呃，有一点意见不同，甚至要反对
这个对方了，可是你又不想要这么不礼貌，所以你会先嗯一下，让好好稍微婉转一点。但是其实接下来你要说的意见，其实可能是不同于对方的了。Oh, excellent translating. I can't believe she can remember everything I say. Well, <laughs> oh, no, I should say yes. You're right. <laughs> Perfect. Continue. Let's continue. Clean up. Clean up. 清理 After the children painted pictures, the art teacher had them clean up the mess. 美术老师在小朋友画画完之后，要求他们要清理杂乱的桌面。Laundry, laundry. 洗衣服 With four children, Alice had to do a laundry or two every day. 爱丽丝有四个小孩，所以她每天必须洗一甚至到两次的衣服 Appreciate, appreciate. 感谢 I couldn't have finished all my work without your help, and I really appreciate that. 如果没有你的帮忙，我无法完成这所有的工作，所以我真的很感谢你。Vacuum, vacuum. 吸。David vacuumed all the carpets in the home so they would be clean and smell fresh. 大卫把所有家里的地毯用吸尘器都吸过了一遍，让他们呢这个干净，而且闻起来很清新。Vacuum is another one of those words which can be used in different parts of speech. It can be used in different ways. Our sample sentence uses vacuum as a verb. Go to you so the the simple past tense. We add ed. David vacuumed. The carpets, but vacuum is also used as an adjective, especially in the phrase "vacuum cleaner," a very popular, a very common appliance right in our homes. 嗯，好，所以这里呢 ，Bruce 老师补充的就是 vacuum 这个字呢，它也是一样有不同的这个词性可以来运用。那在我们的例句里头呢，这个大卫他吸哦，所以呢，这里的动作，所以它有一个简单过去式加 ed 的 vacuumed 这样子一个动词的用法。那当然，另外一个用法呢，就是刚刚举的例子，用形容词的用法的时候，最常见的同学就是刚刚你要讲这个吸尘器，叫 vacuum cleaner 的时候呢。Vacuum 这个字就是来形容后面这个名词 cleaner， 所以这样子形容的一个这个用法，这两个大家可以多写下来注意一下。Okay, let's go ahead. Next word, sweep, sweep. 扫 Mom sweeps the kitchen at the end of the day to keep the floor clean. 妈妈在一天结束前会把厨房的地板扫一扫，来保持清洁。Mop, mop. 拖 You can use either hot or cold water when you mop the floors. 拖地板的时候呢，用冷水或热水都是可以的。Clear one's schedule. Clear one's schedule. 把行程排空。I cleared my Friday schedule so I could take the day off and enjoy a three-day weekend. 我把星期五的行程排空，这样我就可以有一个三天的周末来享受。Keep up with. Keep up with. 跟上。Alan is slow at math and has some trouble keeping up with his classmates. 艾伦算术很慢，所以有点难以跟上他的同学们。Assignment, assignment. 作业。The teacher's assignment for next week is to read two chapters in our textbook. 老师给我们的作业是要在下周前读完课本的两个章节。Fill in on. Fill in on. 
告知某人讯息。When you come back from vacation, Andy, I'll fill you in on how the sales project went. Andy, 等你放完假之后回来，我会告诉你业务简报进行的如何了。Social life, social life. 社交生活。Dan doesn't have many friends and doesn't try to make any new ones. He has a very quiet social life. Dan 没有很多朋友，也不尝试结交新的朋友。他的社交生活十分的平淡。Note, note. 笔记。Many students take notes by hand or computer in Professor Marlin's business management class. 许多学生在马林教授的气管课上用手写或电脑来记笔记。Note is a word which, first of all, has many different meanings. The meaning here、uh, is to keep a record of something as it happens. To take notes. Notice take notes. Then it's used in the plural. We almost never use that meaning in the singular. But note can also be used as a verb.、Uh, to note something means to pay special attention to something. Use a good dictionary. You'll be surprised and maybe a little confused by how many meanings the word note has. 嗯，那 Bruce 老师这边呢，补充的是 note 这个字这么短哦，可是它有很多很多很多不同的用法。那在这里的话，我们光说它的动词，还有它的名词的用法，最常用的就有两种。那一个当然就是我们例句里这里面的 take notes， 那它是以名词的形态在使用，那几乎都是使用复数 notes 哦。那么另外用动词的话呢，像刚刚 Bruce 老师举的例句就是 note something 哦，就是这个事情它特别有这个重要性，所以你特。特别的去这个呃注意它或重视它。那么刚刚布鲁斯老师也讲到，但是如果你去找一本好的字典，记得去查一下 note 这个字，你会发现它竟然可以有这么多不同的用法，其实非常的有趣。Right, let's go ahead. Otherwise, otherwise. 另外 ，I know you still have a lot of boxes to unpack, but How is your move coming along? Otherwise, 我知道你还有许多的纸箱要整理，但是你准备下一步要做什么 ？Public speaking. Public speaking. 演说。Public speaking, the art of communicating in person to an audience, is an important social skill to develop. 演说是一门需要开发的重要社交技能，让人们可以面对群众但侃侃而谈。Club, club， 社团。Students at large universities have dozens of clubs to choose from to participate in。在规模比较大的大学里，学生有很多的社团可以选择参加。Turn in, turn in. 上床睡觉 I felt so sleepy after that large dinner last night that I turned in at ten o'clock. 我昨晚吃完大餐后感到很疲倦，所以十点就上床睡觉了 I'm right behind you. I'm right behind you. 我完全同意 Who wants to go out for pizza? I'm right behind you. Let's go. 谁想出门吃披萨、啊？我完全同意你。我们走吧。Okay, long list of words, so I think we deserve a break. 我们休息一下，马上回来。Our extra serving is for the workbook this week.、Uh, during a dialogue, we cannot possibly write down all the words, 
concerned with cleaning, housekeeping, and so on. So that's the purpose, really, of our radio programming as well as the workbooks that are sent out directly to you at home. Take a look this week. If you do want to learn more about your home, your home environment, how to take care of it, how to clean it, and so on. 好的，所以呢，这个礼拜的 extra serving 呢 ，Bruce 老师提醒大家是在我们的作业簿，我们的 workbook 上。那么这里面呢，会补充到很多我们如何来描述自己的居家环境，以及我们怎么样让它保持清洁。那么这些用具又要怎么说等等的。那么所以同学们不要忘了这一个礼拜的作业簿，一定要记得好好的看哦。嗯。Okay, now we're ready for part five, the quiz. 那我们现在就进入第五单元的 quiz. Okay, the quiz today is going to be a close reading.、Uh, we have a long paragraph, and there will be five blanks in it, and we try to. Decide which words best fit, which are the most appropriate or suitable words in this paragraph. Now I'll read through it sentence by sentence, whether or not it has a blank, and、uh, Lori will give me a hand here by translating the sentences for you, and if there's an answer, explaining the answer as well. So let's begin. Yesterday, I wanted to invite my boyfriend over for lunch in my apartment. 昨天呢，我想要邀请我的男朋友到我的公寓来一起吃午餐。I took a good look at it and decided I had to clean it well, or I would feel embarrassed when he came over. 可是我好好的看了一下我的公寓，决定呢，我应该要先好好的来打扫，不然等我男朋友过来的时候，我应该会非常的尴尬。First, I blank all the floors to make them clean. 首先，我空格所有的地板，让它们变干净。First, I blank. What do I put in the blank? Well, I need a verb, so I've got vacuumed, mopped, kept up with, turned in. These are all 过去式 However, it could be vacuumed or mopped. But the next sentence tells us the answer. The machine is heavy, but it works very well. 嗯，那么空格里面要填的是动词，而且我们这呃选项里有四个动词。但我们看到下一句 ，the machine， 也就是这个机器呢，好重哦，但是呢效果非常的好。所以我们知道我们要选的就是吸尘器的 vacuumed， 我吸了地板，而不是拖地板。Very good. Okay, let's go ahead. Then I did my blank. 接着我做了我的空格 Well, we can't choose yet until we have more information. So let's read the next sentence. My dirty clothes were lying all around my bedroom and living room. 那么我们决定不出来要填什么东西，所以我们就再往下看下一句。我的脏衣服呢，是这个全部在我的整个卧室还有客厅呢，这个散落的到处都是。So now I know. Then I did my laundry because laundry is dirty clothes. 嗯，所以我们回过头就知道空格应该要填的是我洗了我的衣服。Next sentence. I couldn't let him see those. 我们不能让他看到这个景象。Then I blank the bathroom floor with soap and water. 接着呢，我空格了浴室的地板，是使用这个肥皂跟水。So now I'll choose mopped. Because I've already used vacuumed. Besides, soap and water is what we use to mop. 嗯，那么这个空格我们就可以填拖地的拖，因为呢，这个肥皂跟水就是用来拖地的。A bathroom should always look blank, shouldn't it? 一个浴室应该总是要看起来像空格，不是吗 ？After look. We need an adjective, and the only adjective that makes sense here, in fact, the only adjective is clean. 好，那么这边我们需要的是一个形容词，唯一符合语义的形容词就是 clean， 干净。When I finished all that blank, I was too tired to cook. 当我完成了这所有的空格，我已经太累，累到我没有办法煮饭了
Here, finish needs so tsu, an object. That's right. Cleaning don't mean si. It's it's a noun as the object of finished. 嗯，所以这里我们要填的就是我完成了所有的打扫。这里的 cleaning 是正确答案。I called my boyfriend and told him to meet me at a neighborhood restaurant. 所以我打给我的男朋友，告诉他我们就在附近的餐厅碰面吧。Well, we hope you did well on that. Now let's enjoy looking at the dialogue for the second and last time. Oh, I'm beat. Poor Daddy. We really put you through the ringer today. Uh huh. You'd better get a good night's sleep because tomorrow we have a lot more to do. I can hardly wait. But at least we got our bedrooms mostly done, so we can sleep in our own beds tonight. And our bathrooms are pretty well settled. I guess tomorrow we only have the little stuff to to take care of. Yeah, but there is an awful lot of little stuff to do. It will take us a few days to empty all the contents of all these boxes and put them away. At least we can cook in our kitchen. We? <laughs> well, you know. Anyway, I'll help you clean up after breakfast. I'll help too, Mom. I'll give you a hand with the laundry too. Thanks, honey. I appreciate that. And I'll do the floors. There's vacuuming, sweeping, and mopping to do. That would be great. Becky can give me a hand cleaning the bathrooms. Okay? Sure, Mom. I cleared my schedule for the whole week. Sounds like a plan. Ah.、Uh, If you don't mind, I'll use the bathroom and get ready for bed. I'll join you in half an hour, Ed. Good night, Daddy. Good night, Becky. Hmm. Hmm. So, it's really good to have you home with us, sweetie. We've been so busy. I haven't had any time to just talk with you. How's school going? Pretty good, Mom. I'm keeping up with all my schoolwork. I have already read all next week's assignments, and Janet will fill me in on what happens in our classes. I could also borrow her notes too. Hmm. Janet sounds like a really good friend. Oh, she is. She's already like my sister. And how's your social life otherwise? I joined the dance and public speaking clubs.、Mm-hmm. University life can be pretty interesting. It can be. Oh, look at the time. We'd better turn in too. I'm right behind you. Okay. Remember that the second time we show you the dialogue, you have the subtitles to help you. The first time, just rely on your listening comprehension to strengthen it. Okay. 所以呢，这个第一次看呢，同学们尽量用听的，想办法去看能听懂多少。但第二次有字幕来帮大家的话，其实会轻松很多了。Right, and that's it for today's lesson. Join us right back here, same time, same place, and we'll regale you with another story from the Hudsons. Till then, bye bye. bye. bye.